May. And here I am. This is what I love to do. I love bringing this game to you, and I love hearing from everybody on Twitter. That's my favorite part about this, is connecting with you fans. And it's been awesome to hear from you for the last couple nights. Kiko Ebata, another good swing, and Japan has really upped their level in the last two sets, as evidenced by the score. They're playing much more aggressively than they started the match. Not tipping or roll shotting so much, but really going for those big swings. And of course, as usual, digging everything like that. Woof. Nicole Fawcett, hard angle swing. Go to her every time. Jeez, what a player. Nicole Fawcett from Zanesfield, Ohio. She was a graduate of Penn State University, was a part of that incredible run by Penn State. She graduated in 2008, was the National Player of the Year in 08. She was the Freshman of the Year in 05, won a national championship in 07 and 08. How's that for a resume? Kill by Yukiko. Courtney Thompson will come into the back row as the setter. As we said, the subject of Court and Spark. Well, I'm really excited about that documentary coming out in December. That'll debut, premiere at the NCAA Final Four in Seattle. Also back in there is Kelly Murphy. She gets the swing there. She'll get another chance here. And not digging that one is Zayasu. Boy, it's rare to see Zayasu get a touch on the ball and not have it come back to her team. Good kill from Kelly Murphy. Jump float serve coming from Kim. A little bit quicker set to the outside, but a roof for Peo and Kelly. That'll stave off that technical timeout for at least one more point. Kim Hill serves it into the net, and that will take us to technical timeout number two here in set four. Japan on top, 16-12, playing at a much higher level than they had been in sets one and two, and looking to extend this thing to the max, to set number five. Got another tweet here from Heidi. Hey again, Heidi. She says, I play both beach and indoor. I love both. Volleyball is volleyball. And you know what? I uh, can't argue with that. I also love playing both, Heidi. Uh, I would say I prefer the beach game a little bit more personally, playing it. And I think it's because uh, just staying involved the entire time, like you have to do every single thing. That's something Cart said when I interviewed him is it helps your game because you're forced to pass, you're forced to set, and you're forced to hit. And, uh, you know, even as a middle blocker, you're forced multiple times, even if you are, the blocker on your team, you still have to dig balls, you still have to play defense. So uh, that's what I love most about the beach game. And I like it. I like indoor for the uh, the big team aspect and really having to connect and play as a machine with those other five people on the court with you. Thanks for that, Heidi. Kelly Murphy gets the kill off the block. Interesting thing in the back row there. I think I think there was that Shinabe in the back row. Might have had a chance to uh, to dig that one if it didn't hit the block. But since it did hit the block, it threw it off enough to where she couldn't get to it. Nice diving dig from Yukiko, and that's going to be, what do we got, net violation, net violation on the USA, point going to Japan.
Pretty good pass from the U.S. Good set to the right side and going off with that little bit of chin music up there on Aimi Kawashima. Good swing, deep swing from Kelly Murphy. Nice job by her to find that middle attacker in the back row. Kelly will come back out for the setter, Jenna Haglund, and Courtney Thompson will come out for the right side hitter, Nicole Fawcett. For once, not a great pass for Japan, but a good set to the outside. Kim Hill keeps it alive. Oh, Zayasu. I've said that just like that about 20 times tonight. Because she surprises me with all these balls she's digging. I guess it shouldn't be so much of a surprise anymore. Tool kill for Sally as she falls off the ground. I'm sitting up at the production table right now with Matt Podswite and Emily Podswite, and Emily said she's nervous. Yeah, this is a this is sort of a nerve-wracking match. This is nice. It's about to go five. A lot of long rallies. Really fun one to watch. Quick set to the outside. A little bit too quick for Nicole that time. There's a tip and very well-placed tip. And as she held up her hand to tip that, Jenna Haglund thought she was going to tip it short. Instead, Sally saw that Jenna was coming up on it and pushed it deep instead and got the kill. It's 1914 Japan. Timeout. Coach Karch Karai and Team USA. Well, in London, of course, the USA got their second silver medal in a row, losing in four sets once again to Brazil. And now they're going to be going to Brazil in 2016, looking to, uh, to take that gold medal in Brazil. It'd be, uh, maybe even be a little bit harder to play Brazil when you're playing in their home country. It is a really big-time volleyball country. The sports go soccer number one, and I'm pretty sure volleyball is number two in Brazil. So that's going to be a great environment to play in. In London, Japan got their first medal at the Olympic Games in 28 years. They got a bronze medal in London. The uh, last time they medaled was in 84 in Los Angeles, where they also got a bronze medal. Two-time Olympic Games gold medal champions are the Japanese, 1976 and 1964. The server out of the timeout goes out of bounds. Credit a point to Karch for the timeout, icing the server. Jordan, great serve to the line. That's going to be an ace. Boy, that ball was tailing away and down, away from Sally. At the same time, it was dip into the court extremely quick. She didn't have time to get to it. She got a touch on it, but couldn't get it in the air. Served to the other side of the court. Good pass this time. Eyes set to the outside. Good dig. Nicole Fawcett off the block, over the defense, and down for the kill. It's 17-19 and three straight points for Team USA. We'll get a timeout from Coach Masayoshi Manabe. So there's three major tournaments in USA Volleyball that are run every four years. Of course, the Olympics. And the, the Olympics is the end of a quad. So as you might imagine, that's a four-year period that uh, culminates in the Olympics. So since the Olympics were last year, this is the first year of the quad. In the second year of the quad, there is the Volleyball World Championship. So next year will be the World Championship. I'm not sure where that is. Then the year after that, in the third year of the quad, is the World Cup. And then the fourth year of the quad is the ultimate volleyball tournament, the Olympic Games. And the USA, although they've won three straight World Grand Prix events, which is the big time annual event in volleyball, they have never won any of the four year events in international volleyball. The World Cup, the World Championship, or the Olympic Games. Point USA, they draw it within one here in set number four. So Karch Karai looking to get the team. Uh, his goal is to win all three of those, but I know he is extremely focused, mainly focused on getting the team 
that gold medal match in the Olympics and hopefully coming away with the big one. What a rip down the line. My goodness. The superstar from Japan, the veteran player on the squad, Sally Kimura. She'll serve. 20 to 18 Japan, five points away from extending this match to a fifth. And it has got louder and louder throughout the night here at J. Sarah High School. Another good dig from Zayasu. And Kim Hill hits it into the net. She really raised up for that one, but last second she dropped her arm a little bit, didn't quite fully extend, hit it into the net. She was really going for the pound right there. Japan back on top by three. Nicole Fawcett rips one through the seam. Found that hole, that seam in the block. The middle blocker, Nana Iwasaka, didn't quite make it all the way over to her outside hitter, Yukiko Ebata. Left that little bit of hole for Nicole, and she took advantage of it. Back to serve is Cassidy Lichtman at 19-21. Good pass. High set to the outside, raising up and getting it. And getting the kill is Yukiko Ebata. U.S. is down three late, 22-19. Normally I would say that's, you know, it's getting close to insurmountable. Uh, a big lead like three points late in a set is not easy to come back from. But in a game like this where there is an incredible amount of long rallies, every point could really go either way. This set is far from out of reach for the U.S.A. We're going to have a double sub for the Japanese team eventually, or maybe it's just a single sub. Yep, there it is. End of the game to serve once again is Mizuho Ishida as the USA chant starts in J. Serra. And it is extremely loud in here. To go back up four, no, says Jenna Hagland. Great set to the back row. Roll shot, though. Roof. Peo, Kim Hill. Japan just looking for a side out. Manabe not too worried about that point. He knows that if they just pass the ball well, and just side out routinely in these next three points. They can't lose this set. Twenty-one, twenty-two. USA within one. Timeout. 